Yo, well, Guan, I hope you're having a great day. Well, honestly, you're probably having a mediocre day because you, you're watching this video. So you probably need to fix this problem, right? <laughs> and there's a problem that happens of, uh, I don't know how frequently in FL Studio. I've had it happen to me twice now, but I just tried to recreate it and it didn't happen. But it happens when you change the tempo you may find yourself with a sample that won't change pitch like this as you can see in the piano roll if we bring that up this is these notes are actually on different pitches but they're not hitting on those pitches it's only hitting on one pitch and you may also have a problem with let's say a snare sounding like this and i'm going to show you why that happens and how you can fix that really really quickly so that you can get back to work but if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at youtube marketing online business and music production today's obviously a music production day and yeah let's get straight into the solution very very easy by the way if you want to know all the tools that i use or you know other helpful resources or you want to buy my beats or whatever or check out my music links are in the description down below let's get into the video i'm not going to ask you to like or anything you'll like if you like it you'll dislike if you don't so very very easy solution here but let me quickly explain the problem now what happens sometimes when you're changing tempos in fl studio is the sample will actually pitch well not pitch shift it will time shift as well and if you look in right here i'll probably do like i like a little zoom feature right about now but if you look right here you'll see that this time stretching has actually moved a little bit to the left so what you need to do like i when this first happened i tried to go through resampling and doing all this sort of stuff but no all you need to do is just pull this all the way down so right about now it's at zero you just need to bring that to zero and now if we play that back as you can hear it's now playing the correct pitches the correct notes if we go to the snare this also has been time shifted that's why it sounds so slow if we bring this down to zero it will actually go back to normal so very very easy fix very very quick fix i hope this video helped you out because i know i would have needed it <laughs> when this was happening to me but i had to find the solution myself and luckily i got there so i hope this really helped you get back into doing what you was doing because this is probably annoyed you like it annoyed me <laughs> But yeah, question of the day, you know, question of the day that would be really, really interesting. What was you doing when this problem happened to you? Like, what, what was you doing? What kind of beat was you making? Why was you making that beat? What genre? That sort of stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to stop being a starving artist, you want to learn how I was able to create financial freedom for myself using YouTube, go to jcarteray.com forward slash free course and learn the five most important steps to YouTube success. Or, you know, you can get it from the main jcarteray.com site. Also, if you want to buy beats and all that sort of stuff, you can get it through here. Check out my music, the tools I use to make and produce music. All the links will be in the description down below. Don't forget that I will see you in the next video where we will be talking or discussing or teaching more YouTube marketing, online business and music production and all things music. I might make some songwriting videos, some more how to rap videos, that sort of stuff. We'll see. We'll see what time shall tell us peace out i'll see you in the next one